This is a single leg hinge for the left side with adduction using a foam roller. So essentially, I'm using my left inner thigh to hold the foam roller in place. So this is helping to keep the knee fixed. So essentially, I want my weight over my midfoot, so my knee is right around over that midfoot. So essentially, we're kind of keeping the knee bent, so it's a little bit of a co-contraction through the lower limb as well on the left side. So I'm actively pushing into the foam roller with my left inner thigh, and this is where I'm going to take my hinge position. Think about rooting through the midfoot. I'm going to send my pelvis back in space, my hips, as I think about hinging back and sitting into this left side. I'm going to place my left hand on my left butt cheek, so I can think about the left butt cheek growing behind me as I sit into that hinge. I want to make sure that as I go into the hinge, I don't flare through the ribs. So at the top, I like to take a nice exhale. I can reach my right arm kind of towards my left big toe, and I'm actively pushing into the foam roller and thinking about this kickstand so I don't want this foot too far back and it like more of a lunge setup. And I'm coming back into my hinge position and then coming up. The big things here, as we come up and as we go back, you're sitting back into the glute. And then as you come up, think about pushing through your big toe mound, pinky toe mound. So using the force from the bottom, from your foot, to come up to stand and bring the hips through. So the knee is not going to lock out because you're holding it in place. But I want to think about hinging back. You can even elevate this back foot for an extra challenge. Coming back, hinging, growing into this left butt cheek. And then as you come through, push through, big toe mound, pinky toe mound. Use force from the foot on up as you come through and extend the hip through. So we're bringing the hips through before any extension in the knee, using this foam roller to kind of push actively into the wall and get some nice length in the butt, really feeling that glute, some adductor. I want to also think about, especially on this left side, kind of almost turning over this side. So I'm going to drop that right knee long and kind of really sit into and shift into that hip and then come back up. This would be a great kind of way to even load it as a main lift, accessory lift, or just do kind of body weight. You can do this kind of to prep for some more heavier lifts.